to my map, the treasure should be right here. Whoa, this cave has the long lost treasure we've been looking for ages. Come on, guys. I see the X right there. Oh, let's go get that treasure, Mongo. This place looks a little bit dark, but I'm sure that's fine, right? Yeah, just open the chest. I bet it has diamonds in it. All right, let's take a look and um guys why are there just seeds and cobwebs this doesn't look like treasure wait a second you're right wudo have we been tricked guys look up uh, uh, wait a second is that a giant mutant spider everybody run run get out of here right now uh, oh my gosh look at that thing move around that was literally about to eat us everyone we gotta run away quickly or else it's gonna come find us and eat us Wudo, over here there's open space oh okay that's good that's good guys the sun is almost about to set which means that mutant spider is going to come out and kill us if we don't make some sort of protection because home is far far away from here does anyone know how to build a secure minecraft house no i only know how to build a bathroom wait what are you serious axie that's not good you know what it's fine everyone follow my lead we're gonna build the best secure house ever all right mongo the first thing we need for a secure house is a very sturdy block which seems to be that you've chosen iron yup iron block is super duper strong and it's gonna make sure the spider doesn't come anywhere near us good because once the night is over i am going to run my butt all the way back home and know to never follow axie's treasure maps again hey just because i got that map from a very suspicious looking person doesn't mean that it wasn't accurate it was a setup axie they totally wanted to take you and turn you into axolotl stew the really eat that? Of course, Axie. And if we don't finish building by sunset, that's exactly what the spider's gonna do. We're not even close enough to home to run there, remember? Oh, guys, why don't we just give up and let the spider eat us? I'm tired. No, we're not gonna give up, silly. We need to make sure this secure base is super duper OP, so I'm gonna make it super tall, Wudo. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea idea mongo if we make our tower look really really tall that way the spider should be super duper nervous when it comes up to us so it knows that we mean business right axie guys can't spiders just climb walls of course they can but that's why we're going to add a reinforced roof and we're going to reinforce it with obsidian whoa wudo great addition but our base is still really really empty we need to add some actual defenses what do you say oh yeah that's a good idea mongo i think the very first thing we should do is add a really big moat around our secure base do you know what a moat is isn't a moat a thing where you basically make a hole and then put something inside exactly mongo it sounds like you've made a bunch of secure bases before which is exactly what I need to know. Basically, we can put any type of liquid inside this moat. And then when we fill it up, it'll be a nice big deterrent for that big mutant spider so that it's too scared to cross it and reach us. What do you think we should put in our moat, guys? I don't know. I'm too busy making a silly face on the building. Wait a second, Axie. You can't do that. We need to look mean and angry so the spider is scared of us not super kawaii hey don't get 
get rid of my face. Maybe spiders are afraid of cute things. Okay, okay, fine. I guess I'll leave it for now. Come on, Mongo. What should our moat have? Well, Wudo, the most dangerous liquid is lava. So I was thinking that. Lava sounds perfect because I know that spiders are super scared of getting burnt. Did you know that they actually have eight whole legs, Mongo? Which means that it makes it really, really hard for them to control all of them because if they do accidentally dip one in lava, they'll be toasted and roasted. Bro, not only do they have eight legs, they also have a bunch of eyes, Wudo. So be careful. They can see everything. Oh, yeah, that is a good point, Mongo. Maybe for our next defense, we should add something that'll distract them. Something like lasers. Have you seen lasers before, Mongo? Yes, Wudo. Lasers are super duper duper destructive and they hurt really bad. So we need to make sure we add a bunch of them. Exactly, Mongo. Lasers will be perfect because they also are really, really bright red. And what they'll do is they'll distract the spider with its eight or nine eyes, something like that. And that is what's going to be protecting us. Isn't that such a good idea? Yes, Wudo. It's a great idea. But please make sure to place down enough lasers because that spider is huge. We're not just going to place down a bunch of lasers, Mongo. We're also going to stack them up so that if the spider's legs accidentally touch them, they will totally get cut off and that'll make the spider weak. Yeah, that's true, Wudo. But the spider is probably going to bring his spider friends too. So we need to make sure we have enough defenses for those guys as well. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, in that case, Mongo, that's why I'm putting this first layer of lasers that goes down really low. Can you help me by building a layer of lasers that's also a bit higher? Yeah, Wudo, look, I'm stacking them up like this. That is perfect. Check out that defense, Mongo. Now they'd have to get past these lasers and then get past our moat if they want to try and reach us inside our secure base. Yup, Wudo, great ideas. Okay, guys, I just finished making faces on every angle of the secure base. What? You're putting different faces up? Axie, what did I tell you about the faces? The spider is gonna love that. No, look at this one. It's super angry and scary. There's an angry face, a smiley face, a, um, I don't even know what this face is, and then a kawaii face? What in the world, Axie? This face is like a kissy face. The spider will be terrified. What? The spiders are scared of kisses? Definitely. Wait a second, Axie. These faces really remind me of you. Are you trying to make a base that looks like you? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Look, I can do this one. Whoa, Axie turns super duper scary. When Axie gets angry, she can turn even scarier than the mutant spider itself. And oh my gosh, guys, has anyone realized that the mutant spider has been staring at us from these trees? That means it's waiting to eat us when the sun fully goes down. And look, it's already starting to turn into sunset, which means we better hurry up, everyone. Yeah, we only have a few more minutes left, so we should get some more defenses done. What do you think we should add next, Mongo? Well, Wudo, we we should have security cameras so when we're inside of the tower, we can see what's going on outside. That's a really good idea, Mongo. I'm going to put the security cameras all the way along the edges of our builds, right over here. And I'm going to put them on a very tall tower so that we can watch the spider from a distance and not have to worry about getting eaten, as it really wants to do from that corner over there. Not today, mister. Yeah, Puro. We need to make sure we get all types of angles. Luckily, all I need to do is grab this camera monitor, connect it to the cameras, and then we can monitor what's going on. Let me check out this camera to see if it works. All right, let me just connect and wait a second. That's not a mutant spider. Axie, what are you doing on the camera? Blah. Okay, bye, Wait, were you just 
trying to troll me. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Well, luckily, this camera is giving me a really good vantage point. So I'm going to leave this connected for now. But Mongo, it's time for some serious addition star defense. We need to add something else past the lasers just in case the spider is able to come past them. Do you have any ideas of what we could put in this area? Well, Wudo, I was thinking if the spiders can get past this lasers, that must mean they're really strong. And that must mean that we need to hurt them. So why don't we create some kind of attack mechanism instead of creating a defense? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna grab some dispensers and the one thing that spiders hate most, arrows. Do you know why they hate arrows? Why, Wudo? Because when they penetrate their bodies, it hurts really, really bad. And it makes it harder for spiders to move. So I'm going to grab some redstone repeaters, redstone, arrows, and a lever. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to put these dispensers right inside of our giant tower. Ha ha ha. Isn't this a genius plan? Yes, this is going to make sure all the spiders don't mess with us ever again. All right, Mongo. Let me just put a little platform over here where I can start building the redstone. All I need to do is connect them with redstone repeaters, and then I can make a second layer up here and then also connect those to the redstone repeaters. And basically, we're just going to connect all of these dispensers to to redstone so that with one flick of a lever they'll all activate and attack the spider at once no way that's gonna make sure they get super hurt wudo exactly and in order to defend ourselves that is our only option so i'm just making these layers of redstone right over here just like this and then what i can do is i can connect the redstone using a little staircase method which will bring the redstone connection all the way down here and i can do the same thing over here just like this and now let's try it out i'm gonna connect the redstone on the first layer bring it down my staircase just like how i said i would and then connect it to the redstone that's wired up all the way over here just like this then i'm gonna connect the middle row as well because we can't forget about the middle and then bring that that one all the way down here and connect it too. Now all we need to do is connect everything together with the lever and see if it all activates. Ready to see, Mongo? You're a genius, Wudo. Let's try it. All right. Ooh, it looks like everything connected. But let me just put one more repeater over here and oh, yes, it worked, Mongo. Now everything is connected together, which means that whenever we flick this lever, it's gonna fire everything at once that's so awesome wudo come on let's fill up the dispensers with things we want to be thrown at the spider perfect mongo and while you do that i'm just gonna fill in these dispensers that aren't operable just to make sure that we're filling the ones that are connected with redstone i'm gonna put arrows in this first layer mongo because remember spiders hate arrows but i think for some of the other layers Layers, you should probably put something different. How about fire charges? I was already on that, Wudo. If you press the lever, you'll see all sorts of things being flown out. Oh my gosh, Mongo. For real? You're a genius. And if you're a genius too, then I want you to subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. Now the spider is going to be even more scared of coming out at us. And oh my gosh. Gosh, Mongo, look, I just flicked the lever twice and it's already lighting up the trees and stuff on fire. And it has a direct line of attack right where the spider is hiding. This is going to be so good, Mongo. I bet that spider is going to be super scared of us after this, Wudo. Oh, that spider is probably pooping his pants right now, Mongo. I'm even going to add an outdoor lever too so that I can spam the lever and watch 
from above and <gasps> whoa that was so cool dude this is literally the perfect attack method but we need to stand on defense a little more and wait a second why are there arms on top of our build axie is this your doing hi Woodle. do you like the arms i guess i do but now it doesn't look like a secure minecraft house it looks like the spider is coming to a play date with its big plushy friend that's not what i want it to look like that's a lot less scary though right anyway i built a super secret room in here a super secret room okay well how do i get inside there's a password yeah you'll never guess the password oh yeah axie's not that good at setting passwords let me just try them out real quick is the password one two three four and oh, wait what i guess the password i'm a genius what? how did you guess it sorry axie your brain is just a little bit too simple to set a secure password but look inside did you just make a giant disco room yeah i'm not completely done yet but we're gonna party so hard in here axie i have bad news now is not party time oh why not Woodo? i even got this mic so that we could sing karaoke together i'm sorry axie but if i just break a little hole on the edge here you can see that the sun has already come down even more as soon as it turns to night you know what's gonna happen we're gonna have a sleepover dance party no the mutant spider's gonna want to have a sleepover dance party and you know what the spider's gonna do to you in the sleepover um party with me no he's gonna eat you and turn you into axolotl chips and guacamole no 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 exactly axie so we better work on another defense why don't you help us with this one axie it'll be pretty simple okay what are we doing now well i want to set an entire area where we're gonna put soul sand as you can see when you walk on it it makes you really slow and wait a second this isn't the right soul sand this is soul soil i don't want soul soil so let me just fix that and check it out axie you're super slow now wait i like the soul soil it felt like mud under my feet well that's the whole point because spiders don't like mud what spiders don't like mud that's it i have to kill them whoa 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 axie don't get too ahead of yourself okay yes they don't like mud but that still means they're really strong so i have an even better idea what if we put a bunch of barbed wire outside where our lasers are it's like a barbed wire fence you know what i'm talking about no wudo i'm armoring up wait what you're armoring up and oh where did you get that netherite from axie i didn't know you were rich like that don't worry about it wudo i'm gonna kill that spider okay okay well don't get too ahead of yourself axie you're not that strong remember that spider is is like quintuple the size of you so how about you worry about making some of these barbed wire fences instead which are just like cobwebs except they hurt 10 times more and they make you 10 times as slow just in case the spider also decides to drop spider babies it'll make sure that none of those spider babies get through right mongo yeah Vudo. these spiders are ruthless so i have another idea of what we can add after this too you do mongo what's your idea well we need something super spiky to make sure they don't get anywhere near our base wudo and there's this item called a spike a spike wait what do they work like barbed wire well they hurt even more than barbed wires wudo you want to try getting on one of them wait what heck no mongo those things are literally spiky oh, 
on one. What? No, Axie. It actually doesn't hurt that much. I think I'm skinny enough to just stand between them. Yeah, I think that's the problem, Axie. But if you're a big fat spider, then there's no way you're getting past them. Or a big fat Wudo. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not big and fat, Axie. Not like that spider. But anyways, what we should do with these spikes is we should set up an entire wall of them. As you guys can see, you can actually put them sideways, which means that we can line them up across this iron wall to make sure that nothing else can penetrate through our defenses. Great idea, Wudo. It's kind of like having the world's strongest wall. Exactly. And as you guys can see, it is very very sharp and powerful and i can even put it on top of the wall see how cool that looks whoa that looks extra cool it kind of looks like a porcupine and that's exactly what spiders hate so it should be perfect check it out guys it looks like it even has some hair that looks pretty funny this wall is great this will definitely protect our friend basie yup yeah, but guys i think there's still one more thing on the outside Side that we can add and it's super duper explosive explosive what are you talking about mongo i've never heard of an explosive defense <gasps> do you mean wudo's farts what how are you gonna use my farts to attack a spider that thing isn't scared by my tiny farts but maybe it'll be scared by your massive monster axolotl farts right axie hey i fart silently no you don't it's super loud and i always hear it by the way okay guys can we please stop talking about farts and come over here i want to show you this thing called the mine wudo try to walk over it a uh, mine um okay ah, did it just explode yep that's exactly what happens whenever you walk over the mine wudo so come on i say we pissed on a bunch of them but you guys need to be careful not to walk on top of them okay i'm always careful what in the world mongo that was literally like a creeper explosion times a million how strong are these little tiny things they're insanely strong wudo that's why i have them at the front of the base oh i see so even if they blow up they won't destroy our defenses exactly oh my gosh well in that case these these bad boys are super strong, which means they'll add plenty to our defense to make sure that that spider can't get through. Guys, the sun's getting really low now. Maybe we should work on the inside so that our sleepover is a lot of fun. Wait, really? Is it actually getting that much darker? And oh my gosh, you're right. I can literally see the stars coming towards night. Let's start working on the inside of our base, guys. I think the outdoor defenses are cool and all but if we don't have anywhere to hide this is no better than hiding in a random shed yay sleepover time well guys we should start out by having a really really strong door and i say we have some lava doors Ooh, lava doors those look so cool are they real lava though yup Udo, as soon as you walk to them they hurt but i wouldn't try it if i were you oh okay fine Fine, then I'll leave those as is. How about a super strong floor, though, guys? I think I know exactly what block we need. So I'm going to set it to... More lava! Wait, what? Don't do that, Axie. We're going to burn alive in here. Stop! But so will the spider. Well, that's not the point. If we can't survive. Aww, okay, Wudo. What if we wear fire-resistant boots? What? No, Axie. That is not a good idea. No, it's a great idea. Whoa, Axie. You look super silly in them. Yeah, where'd you get those big boots from, Missy? I got these boots from the same person who gave me that map. Okay, okay, fine. Then sure, we can have a lava floor but if we're gonna have 
have a lava floor. Can you please place down an armor stand with some of those boots on them so that Mongo and I can wear them? Okay, I guess I can. Woohoo! Thank you! Now I can go ahead and grab some more lava items so that we can build what I guess Axie considers is a lava base. But I'm also going to grab some orange wool just in case we can't put lava in some places. For example, I want to have a giant TV. And in order to have a giant TV, I need to put it down right on the floor. Check it out, guys. This giant TV is going to keep us entertained with so many TikToks and YouTube shorts that we'll be able to sit here for the next billion years. And Mongo, your big booty is blocking the way. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. And now to finish it off, I'm going to build a lava couch so our butts can stay nice and toasty while we watch the latest Wudo and Mongo videos. Whoa, that's awesome, Wudo. But we also need some weapons to attack that spider. Oh, yeah, you're right, Mongo. That's like so important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that orange wool again and then grab another armor stand. And how about I also get an item frame, which is what we can use to showcase all of our amazing weapons that we can use against the spider. Do you have any ideas for what weapons we can use, guys? Well, I was thinking we use this thing called the bazooka, but that isn't going to be enough because that spider is super duper mean. Really? Oh my gosh. Then what should we use instead, Mongo? I have all these different things where we can place them. Well, we should use some different types of swords. I'll get one in each color for us, guys. Check it out. I have a green one for Wudo, a red one for me, and a pink one for Axie. Whoa, those look cool, Mongo, but Axie was holding something really fiery in her hand. What in the world is that thing? Oh, you mean my molten edge. It's so scary that it pushes enemies back. What in the world? That sounds really creepy. Um, I think we'll hold that for the side for now. Okay, you guys? Sure, Wudo. But I think Axie has a great choice of weapons, so she should pick the next ones. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait a second, you guys. Having a shield will probably be a good idea. And luckily, there's a green one. So I'm gonna have that one. And wait, what? What's going on, Axie? Get him, Axie. I'm channeling my power. Oh my gosh, what was that? That looks like a molten axe. Yeah, it's something like that. I don't really know what it does. Whoa, that effect it had was really, really cool, though. I think I'm gonna have to place that one right here so we all have a copy. Here, Axie, your weapons are way too dangerous and you need to calm down. So how about you take this mini pickaxe? Oh, that pickaxe matches Axie so perfectly. It's cute and tiny just like her. Hey, I'm big and scary. How dare you? Wudo, you can also have one. Aw, Mongo, these tiny pickaxes are perfect for you and Axie. Wait, what? Are you serious? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, Mongo. Anyways, this stuff is cool and all, but guys, I have bad news. What if things get so bad that we need to escape? Does anyone have a good idea of how we can do that? Well, the armor I put down here comes with an elytra, but we can't just leave that spider in our tower. I think what we should do is build something even cooler than an elytra, Axie, and I think I know exactly what I want to do. We're going to build a tunnel. A tunnel? How is that cooler than flying? Because, Axie, what a tunnel is going to let us do is allow us to escape secretly underground with without the spider even getting an idea of where we're going. And do you know how we're going to escape really fast under these tunnels? No. Well, we're going to use one of my favorite machines ever. Mongo, do you know what it is? Is it minecarts? What? Minecarts? Heck no. Minecarts.
cards are for the old age Mongo. Instead, what we're going to use is we're going to use automobiles. Whoa, that's super awesome, Budo. Check it out, Mongo. All I need to do is go over here and grab a colored car for each of us. First, I'm going to put my car and then Mongo's car and lastly, Axie's car. And as you can see, they're race cars, which means that they will go really, really fast and far away at a really good speed, which will allow us to escape just in case that spider does get a bit too close for comfort. Yo, Pluto, it's going to be super awesome riding away in those cars. All right, let me just dig this tunnel out here. Here, and now I can go back to the surface where there should be nothing for us to attack us. Yes, this is perfect, you guys. Look, it's hidden behind the forest. I'm even going to add some fake tree blocks over here to make it look like we've gone and we're never coming back for that spider. You're a genius, Wudo. All right, there we go. And then this should be a very, very good area for us to rest at. At. Oh my gosh, you guys. Have you ever seen a racetrack like this before? You mean as small as this? No. Nope. Wait, what? Why are you acting like you're a professional race car driver, Axie? As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is make it feel like real racing. Look at these sea lanterns. Now it's going to look like Rainbow Road when we're driving by. Whoa, that's so cool, Wudo. Look, it's all lit up and fancy like we're going through time and that's exactly what it's gonna feel like because we're gonna be moving so fast whoa that is pretty cool i guess Budo, guess what i did over here too wait what you did something else mongo what'd you do look i can go through the blocks wait what that confused me so bad mongo how did you just go through a solid block like that in. Oh, wait, what? I can do it too? What is this sorcery? Well, Wudo, it's called a ghost block. Just in case the spiders come inside of the base, I put these down so we know exactly where to go. Whoa, that is so sick, Mongo. We can even put a little warning sign as well, just so we know that this is the place for us to escape. <laughs> the spider's gonna be so dumb, he won't even see this coming exactly Wudo. but now i feel like it's almost time for us to attack that spider so axie can you please put the armor up here and i'm gonna grab one more really strong weapon that we're going to use against the spider do you guys want to know what it is yes what is it Wudo? well it's going to be a bazooka a minigun and let's see one last thing that i want to get as well is is dynamite. <laughs> Whoa, dynamite. That's super explosive. Yeah, Mongo. These are actually so explosive that I'm not even going to place them down. They need to be locked away in a separate chest where it can be extra, extra secure. But as you can see, we have all the weapons that we need and explosives to take down that spider. Oh, I want to test out the dynamite. No, no, no. Actually, don't test it out here. Here, okay i have an even better idea of what you can test out instead it's one of my favorite tools to use to get a good look point at that spider and they're called rocket boots try them out you guys they basically let you fly in the air Whoa. no way aren't these so cool and especially fire as you can see by the fire coming out of my boots <laughs> nice pun Wudo. i'm gonna go to my disco party with these wait what axie i told you we can't do disco it's getting too dark um Wudo, i have really bad news it's already nighttime and the spider is coming over wait are you serious oh gosh it's moving out the cave and you're right it is nighttime now guys quick we need to go inside get our armor weapons and finally defend our base from that giant spider ah, it's coming guys move fast 
hurry up, hurry up, put everything on. All right, I'm putting on my super cool fire armor that Axie gave me. And now I can take my sword, my shield, this super cool fire axe. And last but not least, take my mini gun, my bazooka, and my dynamite. But I just realized we need healing stuff too, Mongo. Can you toss me some golden apples real quick? Voodoo, I have something better than golden apples. Take some golden enchanted cooked chicken. What in the world? Enchanted golden cooked chicken? This is a thing in Minecraft? Yup, it just got added. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna hold those on the side just in case the golden apples don't work, okay? But anyways, guys, it is time for battle. Who's ready to kill that spider? Me! I am! All right, then, my army of Mongo and Axie, let's attack that spider now! And oh gosh, it's coming towards us! Whoa, it's on top of the trees! Oh gosh, guys, I'm gonna stand all the way up here on top of our base so that I have a good place for us to attack it in. Oh my gosh, look, it's blowing up in the air from the mines! Get it with the minigun, guys! Pew, pew, pew! I'm attacking, I'm attacking! I think it's working because he's moving really far back, too. No, guys, it doesn't look like it's working. It's coming right at us, too! Oh gosh, well then I'm gonna have to use my bazooka. Take this! hi yeah! hi yeah! Is it working, you guys? And oh, wait, I think the spider is on fire. The thing it hates the most. It's definitely working, Wudo. Whoa, guys. I think the spider's getting really angry now. It knows we mean business. And now it's bouncing and blowing up all over the place. Attack! Attack it, guys. Attack! I'm even gonna get a little bit lower down here and I'm gonna start throwing dynamite at it. Pew, 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 pew! Whoa, Woodo, I have some bad news. It broke through our first line of defense. Are you kidding me? It looks like it's also getting past our barbed wire as well, Mongo. That's not good. Yup, it's really not. Let's see if the lasers work on him. Come on, lasers, get past that spider. And oh gosh, I'm right under the spider, guys. Help me! No, Wudo, I'm gonna blow it up. Phew, that was close, you guys. But where did the spider go? And oh my gosh, he almost grabbed me with his arms. This is not good, everyone. That spider is getting way too far into our line of defense. So I think it's time for us to use our attack method outside of here. Oh, spider, look over here. I'm at the front of the base. Come here, spider. Do you like the color red? All right, Mongo, perfect distraction. Now what I can do is activate this lever and start attacking the spider. Wudo, I have bad news. He's getting past our spikes now. Are you serious? Even though I'm shooting 5 billion arrows at his face? What do we do, guys? It doesn't look like it's gonna give up. Well, let's just try to keep attacking it for now, Axie. And maybe it won't be able to get inside. And oh, wait, what? It's getting into our lava layer. Now it's gonna be next to our base. Oh, gosh, Wudo. I have a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, this is bad. Our defenses have practically disappeared at this point, Mongo, which means it might be time, guys. Should we resort to evacuating? Yeah, before the spider comes in our face and destroys our tunnel. Oh, gosh, he's destroying everything. We have to attack him and stand our ground while we can. Udo, there is no more standing ground. Come on, let's just use our secret tunnel and get out of here. Hold on, guys. Let me just get one last shot at that spider in his face. Take that spider. Now let's escape everyone. Charge. Charge. All right, here we go, guys. Run, run, run. And huh, I think we've made it out. Are we far away now? Yeah, we are, Wudo. But the spider is going to be chasing us down until we die. Are you serious? Well, in that case, keep running out this forest, everyone. It's distracted enough so we can go home now. Woohoo! Thank you guys 
so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye. Oh gosh, it's the spider!